This article studies the discourse of the Trump administration on the so-called migrant caravan of the fall of 2018. The article seeks to tease out the relationship between populism and the politics of insecurity, which is about all perceived collective threats are framed and acted upon. Here, the goal is to offer an ideational framework for the analysis of populism as it intersects with the politics of insecurity. As argued, the political framing of collective threats is a central aspect of right-wing populism. The role of framing points to the ideational side of populism, which is not a coherent ideology, but a type of discourse through which perceived threats are framed strategically by political actors. They do that in order to intensify collective insecurity and increase popular support by promising to protect ordinary citizens and the people against these inflated and sometimes even fabricated threats. Since he entered the race for the White House in June 2015, the politics of insecurity has become a central aspect of Donald Trump's populist discourse about how to make America great again. Key to this discourse is the idea of building a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border to protect the country against irregular migrants who are framed as a security threat. During the last stretch of the 2018 U.S. midterm season, President Trump and his allies deployed an inflammatory rhetoric about migrants aimed at exploiting anxieties concerning border security related to the so-called caravan of migrants from Central America slowly heading towards the U.S.-Mexico border, something that was widely reported by the U.S. media. In reaction to this news coverage about the so-called caravan, President Trump said he would send troops to the U.S. border, something he did as a way to depict his administration as committed to protect the American people from this alleged security threat. Thank you.